Thank you, Janet. I'm really excited to be here to, uh, to present this to you all. Um, the, the Nashville Entrepreneur Center is about connecting entrepreneurs with critical resources for business creation and growth. And my name is Joe Kostelski. I'm the product manager of the Nashville Entrepreneur Center. And, and Mayor Dean, I appreciate your, your comments about thinking about what Nashville looked like 10, 20 years ago um, and noting the changes in the physical landscape. Um, because I think for entrepreneurs, there are changes that are happening in that landscape as well. After I graduated from, uh, from, uh, from Vanderbilt University, I did go to, to Hillwood High School as well here, um, I, I moved out to California. There was this thing called the internet, and it was growing, and uh, so I thought that was a good place to be. Um, and while I was out there, I had the privilege of working um, with a group of individuals at a company called Idea Lab. And there were 30 to 40 entrepreneurs. We worked day and night. And from them, I learned that if you had the right plan, the right resources, and most importantly, the right people, you could build companies and apply technology to solve business problems. And it seems like a relatively simple thing, but that basically changed the direction of my life. So. Fast forward 10 years, I've worked in, in, in startups up and down the California coast, um, also in Asia, and, and I came back to Nashville. <coughs> and the opportunity for me to rediscover Nashville as an entrepreneur um, and as a business person um, has gotten me excited. And it's gotten me excited to, to stay here in Nashville and to start a business in Nashville, which I'm doing um, immediately after this presentation. So, <laughs> so the, um, but, but again, I think that the Nashville Entrepreneur Center, um, I think it really embodies um, a lot of the opportunity and a lot of the promise um, that, that we see here in front of us. So our research at the beginning of the summer, building on all the work that Partnership 2010 and the Entrepreneur Task Force had done up to this point, and it started with a single question, where do you go to start a business in Nashville? There are many organizations that provide part of the answer and do good things in the area, but there's not a single focal point for where you build a business. So we took a look at the, the numbers. 21.6% uh, of, of all jobs in Nashville are, are, are from sole proprietorships and entrepreneurs. Also, we reached out and spoke to, I probably spoke to about 25 other entrepreneur centers. Um, and what we learned was that nearly every city, Nashville size or larger, has an entrepreneur center. And actually, if you look around, you'll see that, look at Memphis, look at Louisville, look at Lexington, look at Birmingham, um, they have entrepreneur centers as well. There's a commitment in those cities to entrepreneurs and building businesses. So what do they do? Basically, they all provide resources to entrepreneurs, for entrepreneurs. I think if you look over on the right, what we learned from the most successful entrepreneur centers was there was a close connection to capital. Because all the successful organ, uh, or entrepreneurs, uh, entrepreneur centers um, that we looked at, they're all 501c3 organizations. Um, so we were able to look at their, their, uh, their numbers from, from 2007. What we're looking at here is their revenues, their expenses, and, and assets under management for, for Oklahoma City, um, Research Triangle Park, San Francisco, Birmingham, St. Louis, and Memphis. Um, and you can see the operating budget for most entrepreneur centers um, that we, we would consider comparable is an operating budget of about $1 million to $2 million per year. What actually, there's a number down there at the bottom you might not have caught, but it really gets uh, Janet's goat. Um, Birmingham has $10 million uh, in, in assets under management. They had a capital campaign. When they launched their entrepreneur center, they immediately raised $7 million. Um, Janet's comment was, if Birmingham can do it, we sure as heck can. But she didn't say heck. <laughs> Um, in, terms of, in terms of impact, I mean, impact for entrepreneur centers is measured through jobs, through companies, through revenues those companies create. Um, but, but there's another potential impact, um, and, and, and Ron and Mayor Dean both spoke to that. But it's really important that we, we engage those 250 college students who want to come here and work. Um, and 84% of individuals who work in business startup environments end up staying in that city. So as we encourage entrepreneurism, there's a real opportunity for us to engage and attract and keep high value workers in our economy. We did a SWOT analysis of the entrepreneurial landscape. Um, of course, Nashville has many strengths. I mean, we all know it's a great place to live. We've got um, the healthcare and entertainment verticals, um, which are very strong here. Um, there are also some weaknesses. There is not a focal point for, for entrepreneurs right now. 
In terms of opportunities, I think there's an internal one to align those existing resources, um, but then also there's an outward facing one, which is to do a better job of, of telling our entrepreneurial success stories. And then finally, just from, uh, from a challenge standpoint, I mean, potentially, um, as we're working to collectively align resources, um, there are new people, new organizations that are going to have to work together. Um, and so there's, there's, a, there's a real opportunity to make sure that there are conversations up front so that that moves forward smoothly. On those lines, we reached out to professional organizations, universities, and uh, government resources that support entrepreneurs. So the plan, number one, focus on national strengths, healthcare, entertainment, digital media, logistics. Two, engage existing resources. You can see across here, the Chamber, the NTC, the Nashville Healthcare Council, Nashville Capital Network, Digital Nashville, there are a number of, 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 of groups um, that support entrepreneurs, our opportunities to engage them. Three is share funding responsibility. The most successful entrepreneur centers have a mix of federal, state, local, and private funding. And, and finally, number four is, like Janet mentioned, we've got this terrific brand. Entrepreneurism is part of our Music City DNA. And as we looked at, at how the Entrepreneur Center would fit into the, to the, to the ecosystem, we found this, Nashville does a great job of supporting the fundable subset of companies and in supporting mature companies. There are organizations that are focused on supporting those companies. However, if you are starting or if you are an early phase company, there is not a single organization that is focused on making sure that you get resources and support. The Nashville Entrepreneur Center proposes to fill that gap. So we'll support economic development by providing market validated resources, by connecting entrepreneurs to, in many cases, people, people who can help them get to that critical next step of their business. And then finally, um, in cultivating gazelles. Um, I know that you can wait for, for high growth companies to happen, or you can go out and actively cultivate high growth, high job, high revenue, high impact companies for the region. And I think that's a lot of what Janet and the economic uh, development team and the mayor's economic development team are, are doing. So from a service standpoint, um, we will provide web-based resources, and if you'll bear with me, I'll, we'll, we'll go through those in a moment. Um, from an education standpoint, we'll provide workshops. Uh, from a community standpoint, building the entrepreneurial community, um, eventually we'll have a physical location, um, and we'll have co-working space. And then from an advocacy standpoint, if you want to change something, you have to measure it first. There's an opportunity for the Nashville Entrepreneur Center to be a data-driven organization that measures and actually recommends and, and, and creates change with, for entrepreneurs in Middle Tennessee. And then finally, we had mentioned the connection to capital. The connection to capital, of course, is critical. This is entrepreneurcenter.com. Um, in addition to the, the resources that we'll provide, um, you can see we have an Ask an Entrepreneur feature over here and apply for an entrepreneur toolkit. Being an entrepreneur, it's about people. It's about your community. Um, and also, I think it's about celebrating success. So with that in mind, we worked with, um, we worked with Michael Burton's Accelerator Program, and they did some tremendous work there. We also worked with our video entrepreneur friends over at Studio Now. And again, we worked with Paramore Red. And um, what we've done is we interviewed 50 entrepreneurs and entrepreneur advocates in Nashville to better tell the story of Nashville and its entrepreneurial success.